May 2020 update and how does it affect your business and website. Let's look at how it affects you and also case studies of some winners and losers in the UAE. Hi, I'm Lebeto Nazareth and I've been a digital marketing consultant for the last two decades and I've had the good fortune to have worked with some of the best brands and best e-commerce companies in over five countries. This vlog is my humble attempt to help small business owners like yourself grow your business and increase the leads that you get with the help of digital marketing. Now today I want to talk about Google and how it is changing the internet slowly and steadily. I will focus on the Google May update or as it's better known the pandemic update and how it has the potential to change your life and your business for good. But before I start, let me ask you to please like the video and share it with your friends and family that you know need this information and you think that they will learn and grow from it. More importantly, if you feel that I am providing you with good info and tips, please subscribe to my channel below and get notified of all the juicy content I create on how to grow your business organically without spending a big bomb. So let's get right into it. As a business owner, your entire business nowadays depends on how much traffic you are getting onto your website directly or indirectly. It depends on your rank on Google. What if till April 2020, you were making over hundred thousand US dollars per month from your website and suddenly in 2020, your business just crashed and no one, nobody started buying from you. Wouldn't you think that is strange? Wouldn't you attribute it normally to the coronavirus situation? Chances are you most probably have, but actually that's not the case. And here is what Google really doesn't want you to know. If you disagree, get ready to get your mind blown. Let me explain how it works. Now, your customers are all out there on their smartphone and their iPads and all their devices. And when they want something, they search for a vendor or a service provider for them on Google. Now, Google owns 98% of the total search traffic in the world as compared to Yahoo and Bing, which are very minor compared to Google. Now, when people search, they see the sites on the first page of Google, click on them and engage with them. Only 23% of traffic actually goes to the second page of Google and only 3% of your total traffic goes to the third, fourth or fifth page of Google to find what they need. Now, if your website ranks on the first page of Google, you get over 95% of the traffic searching for your service and you get all that great, intense, rich, organic traffic to your website. You have great sales and customers buy from your website or from your stores. What is intent rich organic traffic? If you want to know, click on the link above. Now imagine your life without these sales. You would have to shut shop, fire your staff or worse still, Get a job yourself to provide and support your family. Oh my God! Wait, before you head to the window to jump out, hear me carefully. Look at this image. The May core update for 2020 is done and the world is reeling under the changes it has brought with it. Millions of websites across the world have lost ranking and SERPs or SERPs in one fell swoop. Now Google is on a mission to make the web a better place. And as a part of that mission, it releases algorithm updates to better the net by raising the bar for standards to which web developers have to adhere to when creating and developing websites. If your website is well equipped with rich content like featured snippets or has a well-established local presence, 
or if you have a strong presence on the top story segment of Google, you are blessed because Google will reward you with Google brownie points or googly points. Just kidding. There are no googly points. There are just Google positive points and algorithm pushes you up to the top of your page. But if your website is missing on shopping results or rich snippets or a well-established knowledge graph or even rich SERP features, then your rankings are sure to tank. Boom! If you didn't know what I'm talking about, here is a quick recap. May 4th, 2020, Google announces a new update to the algorithm and it sends the whole world into a tizzy. Check out my video on the Google ranking impact for 2020. Now it was supposed to be a core update to the base algorithm so everybody knew and everyone was expecting the worst. But the people in the know, me included, knew that this was coming because Google search engine informed the world about this update way back in January 2020. Remember this tweet? Based on the trend of the January release, we had already informed our clients of the changes to be expected in February and March. But these were delayed and a lot of companies and business owners out there were completely sideswiped by the May 2020 core update. Worse still, it came in at the worst time, especially when the world was reeling under the coronavirus pandemic and the recession and all of the lockdowns and the business closures were causing. To put things into perspective, the May 2020 update caused an upset of over 9.4% on the SEMrush SERP Qualities Index and the Moz Heat Index, which is the index every good SEO worth his salt refers to every day at the start of his day. That is a massive number. Take a look at this infographic to give you an understanding of how it actually fell through from May onwards. Disaster. So the end result is this. If you have a website, that is ranking one on Google for the last couple of months or maybe the last couple of years, you will have to definitely take a relook at your rankings now because your website has a 78% chance of having dropped in your rankings. And if this has happened, the world as you know it is most probably going to end. How does the May core update affect you and your website? Number one. The core update 2020 will have a very strong effect on your website and its rankings. Because of the updates, your rankings have dropped. Your rankings on the website will have dropped as well. That means if you've had 10,000 visitors per month when your website was number one on Google, you will now have 10 customers per month. When your rankings have dropped so drastically, you can't find your website on the first or the third or the fifth page. For every rank that your website drops off the first page of Google, you will lose about 23% of your traffic. So if your website drops from the first page to the third page, somebody's gonna get hurt real bad. If your website falls to the second page of Google, the traffic to your website could drop by over 85%. 85%! It's mad. It means apocalypse now. It's important to figure out why your site's ranking has died. This is because Google has penalized the site because the site most probably has unaddressed issues that has led to the ranking drop. So let me showcase three case studies that have performed very well in spite of the coronavirus situation, in spite of the May updates. And these are worthy to be called case studies because they have actually increased their traffic and sales more than 10 times in under one year and grown their ranking in sales in spite of such a negative environment. The first example that we are very proud of is a client called 2xlme.com. Now Prism has been working with 2XLME since the last year and we have been consistently growing the traffic of the site 
and sales through organic SEO and content marketing with syndication. We grew the site from under 1,500 per month traffic to over 16,000 people or unique visits per month and that to under one year. We have also enabled them to grow their business to close to 2 million dirhams per month even after the Google May update. This is their metrics at the start of May when the Google May update finally hit. At the time of us writing this blog, at the start of May, these were their metrics from SEMrush. As the Google 2020 update hit the site, organic traffic took a hit slightly and hence we made some quick changes to the site and the content of the site and just as May rolled in, all those core changes updates we made to the site started to kick in. We made sure that the organic traffic from the site actually grew by over 3000% since the last year. So this year, actually we benefited from the Google 2020 update because of the way that we optimized the site. Now, chances are your SEO company has not done the same and your rankings have fallen. Now, you can take a look at it from this infographic. Look how the changes on the site improved the ranking and how it affected the traffic in just one month. Here is the trend analysis from June 2020 and you can see a marked growth in the organic traffic to 15,975 in just one month. But most importantly, other websites in the same space dropped their rankings by over 35 to 64% while 2XL managed to grow its organic traffic in the interim. This is fantastic for SEO purposes because we adopted and we were one of the first agencies to adopt the EAT or EAT protocol. Now I will explain the EAT protocol a little later but first take, let's take a look at our second case study. I'm sure you've heard this brand before it's called IKEA.com. These are the metrics of the website as of June 2020, which shows how with simple optimization techniques, the site increased the organic traffic by 3.2%, which is 17,659 unique visits. Now, ironically, this site is one of the biggest beneficiaries and winners in the SEO game for 2020. With an authority score of 82 and an increase in SEMrush domain ranking or domain authority of over 87 points, the IKEA website was well poised to dominate the rankings in 2020. But when the May updates hit, we took a slight beating for the month of May. But when we initiated the EAT protocol on all our content creation and syndication, the ratings bounced back in June. And here are the traffic from both months. So here's the traffic trends inside for May 2020. And here is the traffic inside for June 2020. As you can see now in June, we have actually grown the site traffic by 17,000 unique visits in just one month with a growth factor of just under 4%. Now that is massive, especially when you have more than 8 million unique visitors every year. Now the third case study is, is a website everybody knows about and most probably if you have children you have definitely gone onto this website. Mum's World. Mum's World is another heavy hitter in the e-commerce space specializing in content driven e-commerce. In 2018 their focus was on building their e-commerce business which was pretty standard up till August 2019 where they adopted the EAT protocol EAT for content optimization and authority. After that, their rankings grew by over 35% month on month and now they have reached the enviable position of the top 10 trafficked e-commerce websites in the Middle East. Even the January 4 algorithm update or had little or no effect on their rankings and traffics. Take a look. Here are the insights as per May 2020. As you can see, there is a huge spike and here are the insights in June 2020. Massive numbers there. As you can see that by shifting to the E protocol, it has really helped serve Mums World really well. And it has been able to establish dominance in an industry 
through content and authority from its social media engagement, which also drives a lot of traffic to the site. How to find out if your website ranking has fallen because of the Google May 2020 core update. Remember, rankings never lie. If your website has fallen over 5 to 25% in a particular niche for no obvious reason, you have definitely come under the update bus. The absence of Google penalties. If your website has no previous Google penalties or warning from Google Search Console, if your website was smiley, sparkly with no Google penalties or warnings on anything, you've definitely got hit. Now, another question. How well does your website eat recently? If your website is a leading website in its niche and you have got a lot of smaller competitors that are also publishing relevant content, then your website is a prime candidate for a ranking cull. Because this update gives smaller the websites the better opportunity because they have a better eat signal. Another thing is, has your website pivoted recently? Google always prefers quality over quantity. And if you are posting generalist content, then chances are your rankings is going to get hammered. How engaged is your audience on your site? If your site does not manage to retain customers and keep them hooked onto your content, then your site will definitely fall on the ranking. So bounce rate and time spent on your website are massive ways that affect your ranking. So here are five ways you can remove the drop of ranking caused by the 2020 core update and claw your way back onto the top of the ranking in 2020. So number one, EAT protocol, burn this in your memory. You have to follow it. Expertise, authority and trust. Google prefers sites that demonstrate expertise in the niche that they are in. This expertise is determined by the type of content you put out its relevance and more importance or accessibility and acceptability by the audience that you're writing for. Now, authority is built after months of generating quality niche based content, which is either well accepted and upvoted by the peers in your community. So trust factor depends on how many times your website has been recommended or how many citations and references to the content that you put out are generated. So add value. All right. Very important, stay focused and original. A lot of sites that did a lot of plagiarism by copying content from sites with good authority got completely destroyed in this update. They landed up losing more than 85 to 95% of their rankings overnight. And this included several huge e-commerce stores that were reselling or drop shipping a lot of products. Now, a lot of them just copied content from the original site or from Alibaba.com where they were doing the drop shipping from and they paid a heavy price for it. A lot of the sites that published various uh, wide variety of content from various contributors, backlink farms as they are known, also lost a lot of rankings that they wanted, once enjoyed. Google wants to eventually weed out automated backlinking or link bait automation as this is an important step in that process of cleaning out the internet. Remember, less is always more. One biggest lesson that I have learned from this May and January update is that less is more. As in, lesser content you put out, the better. Especially when you're putting out content only, which makes you feel positive about that content and that your audience recognizes the value and shares your content and engages with it. So if you're putting out 10 pieces of content which nobody really reads, Google is not interested in it. If it is making people interested, then they will share it. More people will read it. They will like it and then share it. So remember, if you are seeing some of the biggest winners in the May 2020 update, these were websites that took their content marketing very seriously and provided real value to their customers and had a very high brand sentiment founded on trust. Now, the fourth point I would like to point out is quality English 
and quality writing. Google algorithm, which is based now on AI, is very capable of finding out mistakes in writing and can identify right or wrong English or regional languages from badly written language. Please remember that the autocorrect is close to 10 years now and now Siri and voice commands are so clever and so accurate that the language detecting technology is close to a perfect 100%. The AI tech that is used can scan your website in under 0.0000071 seconds. So that means the entire bulk of websites can be literally scanned by Google for this in under 10 minutes. If you have plagiarized content, you are definitely going to use your ranking. Now, Google wants to get as local as possible. So go as multilingual as possible. If you want proper rankings, you will need to speak the language of the region you are based in. But if you are serving multiple locations, make sure you have multiple GMB or Google My Business incorporated into your website on a coding level as well. Now, a lot of people know about Google My Business, but not many know that you can actually integrate it with your website on a coding level. What if you found out that after doing all of this, you still failed in the Google ranking? do the following three steps number one click on the link above and fill in the short form now when you do this all you need to do is put in your name your website your email address and your mobile number we will generate a report and send it to you absolutely free of charge that is in case you already don't know that your website is, is dying on Google and we will also send you a couple of recommendations from a digital marketing or Google algorithm update perspective that you need to get executed on your site. Once those changes have been done, you'll have to check your site regularly for at least two weeks to see if there are any positive Google ranking changes. Now, if there are no changes to your ranking because of whatever reason or the Google may update or you might uh, want to check in with your developer but if there's absolutely no results then please contact us and we can help you get back onto the first page of Google in absolutely no time because we follow a systematic protocol based approach to Google ranking all right now here's a massive bonus tip if you want to know what is the EAT protocol, E-A-T. Please fill in the form that I'm putting in the uh, comments. Download our free white paper on the Google Core Algorithm Update and the Google Ranking Update 2020 white paper. Okay, I'm going to do a separate video exclusively on the technical aspects of this. You can watch it once we post it. Hey, I hope by now you have understood why your website ranking has died in May and most importantly, what you can do to kickstart your ranking from the ground up. The important thing is to be proactive and not let your website ranking remain down. So again, if you like the content I put out, please like and share this video with others whose website rankings have also dropped. Share it with your friends and family if you want them to learn. Please like the video and subscribe if you would like to be notified of my future videos. Please click the little red bell to be notified of all my latest videos and digital marketing adventures. Until the next time, this is me Laveto Nazareth aka The Digital Panda saying Arrivederci, Sayonara, Adieu, Salaam Alaikum, Chalta Hoon, Bye, I'll see you next time. As usual, stay home, stay positive, and most importantly, stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I'll be giving away an iPhone when we reach 5,000 stubs. So share and keep subscribing. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.